Hi, little friends. Your boy's sick. I'm not in like a sick way, in like a really ill way. There was definitely something going around at work, and I was at the office the other day, and everyone was like going home sick, and I was like, God, I hope I don't get it. And here I am. Before I get started, this video is actually sponsored by Squarespace. So thank you, Squarespace. I will talk about them more in a minute. I've also just realized that there's still a huge picture of me in my background. Oh, and also on the pillows, and I'm also using a blanket with my face on it. It was for a video, okay? I'm not obsessed with me as much as, as much as you. I don't know. What's that Addison Rae song? I don't care. I literally have a toilet paper roll next to me because I can't stop like blowing my nose. Ew, gross, sorry. <laughs> that is kind of gross. I'll try not to say things like that. Even though I want to, like, you know when you're kind of like feeling a bit shit and you just want to tell everyone how shit you feel? Something in me is like, you'll feel better if you complain about it. But I literally feel like out of breath from speaking. That's how you know it's bad. When you've got toilet paper next to you and when you get out of breath from like, literally going to get your Uber Eats from downstairs. Cause that and like winded me this morning. I was not doing well. I'm probably gonna look back on this footage and see like my pale ill face and like boogers running down my nose and be like, mm, maybe not. But I like having someone to talk to. So thank you for being here. You're all homies. Homies. Homie. I can't, that's a word that like you really hear the illness in. Homies. So you're getting like a sick day vlog today. I hope that's okay. I'm like honestly just happy to have something to do because I've been lying in bed and my eyes are about to pop out of my head from looking at screens for too long. So what we're working with. Let's make a tea. I was about to show you my pile of tissues and I thought that that's actually freaking disgusting. So I'm not going to do that. Oh. And there's the narcissism. Oops. Hard to hide it sometimes. I've been drinking a lot of these. Which is, they're usually really good. Kind of scared of ODing on them though, so I'm gonna try and drink tea instead. This is the kettle situation. It's literally on a shoebox under my desk, so that's probably not okay. But I also kind of don't see a problem with just having a kettle on a shoebox on your carpet. Like, why do they have to be in the kitchen? There's no rules. So I'll keep my kettle wherever I please. Thank you. I've been finding, I don't know if this is even grosser than I, I've already been in this video, but I've been finding like lots of ants in this kettle. <laughs> like I'll literally pour water into the teacup and they'll just be like floating ants. I'm like, get out of there. Like what an awful way to die. Like they probably drowned in the water and if they didn't drown in the water, they drowned because I boiled the kettle. So now I check the kettle for ants every time I'm about to boil it. Should we make a nighttime tea? A bold move considering it's only 3 p.m. But who cares? We're getting a bit crazy here. Someone try and control me, I dare you. Time to drink some ant water, I guess. There's no ants in there. I have been checking it regularly. Emptying the water, getting new water. You know, all the natural precautions that you take when there's ants in your kettle. And back to bed we go. While I'm waiting for my tea to cool down, I really want to drink this, which is like a coffee I ordered this morning. Does oat milk go off? I kind of want it. No, that does not taste good. That's really bad. Let's go through some life updates. For those who don't watch my regular vlogs, I'm currently not living at my apartment because it has a mold problem. I did buy a dehumidifier though, so thank you for anyone that was recommending that. But having to live here while that's being sorted has been a really good like trial or like practice. Fresh and I are moving out together soon and that's really exciting. I'm really looking forward to it. How good if I just had like soup right now? I don't know how to make soup, but if I did, maybe I would like make it for myself. I'm not learning anytime soon though, not in this place. Have you ever seen a kitchen owned by three boys. It's not pretty. I don't go there. It's out of bounds for me. It's like if a if a baby giant threw up on a kitchen and then let it dry up. That's what it looks like. It's gross and I'm not going there and I will not touch it and I will not go near it and there's cockroaches in it and I'm actually like I get repulsed by the thought of it. You know that maybe if I that wasn't the case I would learn how to make soup. Just sick, sick thoughts from bed. Welcome to the segment sick thoughts from bed with Tessa your sick host. Thought number one, soup, a food or a drink, I'll have to say. Maybe if there's chunks in it. What are you saying, Tessa? Literally, just turn camera off and go to sleep. Okay, wait, this is actually something that I always wonder. Why can I see the moon in the day? That makes no sense. I shouldn't be able to do that, should I? Is it the actual moon? Because the moon shouldn't be next to the sun. Or should it? I don't know. And that pretty much wraps up this segment of bed thoughts with and sick red bed thoughts with t never mind you know what? i want to talk about squarespace and i'm gonna go to my desk for this and use the last remaining energy i have for the day on moving to my desk this is for you squarespace we made it look i even have a toilet paper roll here 
Now I have talked about Squarespace before. It's genuinely so great. I do love using it. They've been nice enough to give me a Squarespace website of my own, which has been the most amount of fun to work on. I was so scared about starting a website because I was like, oh, scary, don't want to do that. And then when I started looking at the templates and how easy it was to change all the colors and the fonts, I was like, oh, this is actually a really good, easy thing to use. Another really cool thing is that you can link your Instagram. It'll update automatically on your website so you don't need to go and like re-upload all your photos. And if people do want to actually visit your Instagram, they can just go to the top right corner where there is an Instagram icon and it'll take you straight to your page. With a Squarespace website, you also get access to analytics. Whether you're using your website as like a personal creative space like me, or if you're selling a product, getting data like this is essential to be able to see if you're moving towards your goals or not. I genuinely think Squarespace is a great product. I would recommend it to anyone that wants to start a website. So if you want a free trial, you can go to squarespace.com. And when you're ready to launch, you can go to squarespace.com forward slash Tessa Himpu to get 10% off your first purchase of a website or domain. Thank you, Squarespace. Back to bed. Yeah, this feels right. I would quite happily lie here for the rest of my life. You know what we should do? Let's talk about things that spark joy. That's a good idea. That'll cheer me up. Welcome to the segment of this vlog that I like to call Things That Spark Joy. A term I believed was coined by Marie Kondo. I've never really watched her, but she sounds like a cool lady. If you're wondering what this is, my friend Ilsa and I decided to try and paint fruits the other day. I'm gonna cover the top part because I drew a naked lady, but those are my fruits. Thank you and good night. And then she painted me this, which I'm obsessed with. Like, are you serious? That's so pretty. I love it. Get you a friend like Ilsa. Things that are sparking joy. Feel free to follow along. Get out some things that you think are sparking joy for you right now. And we can just sit here and talk about all these joy sparky things. And then maybe we'll forget that we're sick and feel like we have blades in our throats. It's just, you know, it's worth a shot. First up, this hair clip. I don't know why, it makes me so happy. It's got little like flowers in it. I got it off ASOS, I'll show you. It has a cute little, and then I take it out and my hair looks normal afterwards. It's a really delightful thing to own. I'm so happy I bought it. Ow. Next, this cow bucket hat. Oh my God, I love her so much. I think about her often and I've never been so excited to get a package in my life. This one is the brand Lisa Says Gar. It was like far too expensive, but I'm one of those people that it's like as soon as I get something in my head that I want, all logic, anything goes out the window, I must have it. I dream about it, I need it. This is what happened with this hat. I was like, oh my God. So I bought it. And honestly, I'm pretty happy I did because it's cute as hell and it just makes me happy that I own this because I look like a little cow girl, not like, a cowgirl yeehaw, like a cow girl. And you know, that's worth it. That's worth all the money in the world. Okay, this scarf, wow. This was a present from Fresh and I adore it with my heart because it's getting really cold at the moment. I mean, I'm sick. That probably like is a contributing factor because I literally wash my hair and go out into the cold and any mother will tell you that that's not a good idea. But when I wear this scarf, I feel protected from anything because it makes me so warm and I'm so happy when I wear it. So if you don't have a scarf that makes you feel like you're in bed when you're outside in public, get a scarf. Spray it with some nice perfume or a nice like smelly mist or something. I just feel so cozy when I'm wearing it. So this is gonna stay on me for the rest of the video probably. Next up, We've got some mini vases. This is all very like typical shit that probably like stereotypically makes girls happy, but why the f not, you know? It's just fun and games. First up, this bum vase. Am I gonna get demonetized for this? Worth it. She's beautiful. Isn't that the cutest thing you've ever seen in your life? I cannot wait to put so many flowers in her. Maybe a succulent. Maybe she's more of a succulent vase. Hard to say. I don't know that much. I have found out that I killed my plants in my apartment, but that's because I've been neglecting them like completely so I mean that's just my fault this one okay I like that bum one but this one is like actually my favorite because because are you are you seeing what I'm seeing she's gorgeous I love her so much this makes me so happy I'm so happy I own it again far too expensive for what it is but I love it I love it so much I'm gonna sneeze again <coughs> oh. I am not well okay this one's the most important one I mean, this bookmark could honestly be one in itself. I've named him Ernie. But, oh my goodness, I've started reading the Harry Potter series again. I've read the first one already. I'm up to the second one. It's changing my life. I read these when I was probably about six, mm, that's ambitious. Um, Maybe like eight years old, I started reading the Harry Potter series. I read like the first four or five books when I was younger. But when I say red, I mean like skim. Like I hardly remember any of this. I'm pretty positive that I just pretended to read the first four and then just told so many people that I did that I probably started to believe it myself. I've been spending so much time 
looking at screens and editing and my eyes hurt and I get headaches so I was like I actually need to like read a book or something because like I can't look at any more screens than I have to and it's very easy to read like I remember them being hard to read because I was very young when I thought that I read them if you feel like you're spending too much time on your phone which is genuinely what I've been feeling recently I highly recommend getting a book these are so like engrossing you just get sucked in. So Joyce Barky, the biggest Joyce Barky thing in my life right now. All of a sudden it's gotten dark very fast, but I'm starving. I'm gonna, I'll report back when I've got food. I decided to eat at my desk because I feel like eating in your bed creates unhealthy boundaries in the way that there aren't any boundaries if you're eating in your bed. Also, I've already spent 85% of the day in bed, so I feel like it's healthy to try and not be there all day even though I'm unhealthy and being in bed all day probably is the right thing for me. I got teriyaki chicken on rice. This is some pickled stuff, which I only eat the yellow one. They also gave me a small salad for some unknown reason. It's now six o'clock and it's fully dark outside and I'm here alone. And while Fresh usually works late, Nick and Jake, who are his housemates, usually are here, which kind of makes me feel less alone. So I feel really alone right now. <laughs> I used to love being alone too. It was my favorite thing when like my whole family would be out one night and I would just be by myself, make myself a drink and like watch YouTube videos by myself on the couch. But now that I'm in a really good healthy relationship, now I would much prefer to be at home with Fresh than home alone. Riddle me that. I don't warn you about this. Well, I ate nearly the whole salad, so... Mom, if you're watching, I will be expecting a message of congratulations. I might call it there. I'll eat some more chicken and then I'll go to sleep. If you made it this far and you were able to tolerate my nasally voice, I really appreciate it. Thank you very much for watching. I'm, I'm sure I'll be fine in like a day or two. I'm just worried about Fresh getting sick, but we'll deal with that later. Stay healthy and safe and I love you all so much. Okay, bye! Thank you.